All right, I'm going to try to attempt to show you guys the par on these LEDs. I have a Photon 32, so I'm going to try to hold in the video a par meter and show you exactly how strong these LEDs are. I don't know how this is going to turn out on video, but you see the par meter in the tank. This is a 24 inch tall tank that's about halfway right there and you can see the PAR numbers let me adjust this so the lighting okay so this is about halfway you're looking at 500 to almost 600 and this is at 25 percent uh, blues and 15 percent whites that's the PAR I'm getting halfway down the tank and it's mounted about eight inches off the surface of the water so the par is incredible from these uh, lights and uh, I had it turned up higher but I had to turn it down obviously uh, to these lower numbers if you look over here right above this coil I'm getting 600 almost yeah right about 600 so if you come up a little higher by my spongeous coil piece over here towards the outside edge you see numbers right around almost seven so you have to be careful with these lights guys and girls uh, I don't know how good this is showing on the screen so I apologize trying to do this by myself on my tripod so anyway uh, you just have to be cautious of how powerful these lights are I have two uh, 50 HQI halides uh, that was on that side of the tank. Now this is the other side of the tank. Around midway, I'm getting par right around 400-ish. A little higher up, the number increases to around 455. So anyway, that's just showing you how you want to try to adjust the LEDs, turn them down initially when you first install them uh, and put them over your tank to try to match the lights that were currently over the tank. If you have a PAR meter, uh, is the best way to do it. But if you don't, turn them down extremely low and work your way up so that you don't bleach all of your corals. Now I'm going to show you guys how I have the lights set up under my canopy, and my tank's a work in progress, so guys this is excuse the way this kind of looks on camera but basically I have uh, four VHOs on the tank they really don't do much as far as par because they're mounted so high but it's more of a dust dawn lighting I used to use uh, before I got the LED so anyway on the right hand side there you see a 48 inch fixture it's got two 250 HQI bulbs in it 14 K's uh, with two uh, super actinic T5s in there, one on each side. Uh, and basically, I had two of these set up, so I had a thousand watts of halide light, which is probably overkill on this 180 gallon tank, um, plus the four T5s and four VHOs. And the VHOs is super, two super actinics and then the white uh, actinic next to those. So I had a lot of light on this tank, and so my corals are used to a high high lighting uh, but the LEDs are dangerously powerful so you have to be careful on uh, how high you have them turned and you see I have it eight inches above the water and it's still putting out that kind of power now this is the four foot layout on the uh, Photon 32 so uh, there are some shadows on the edges of the tank uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera there is a color difference on from this half to the other half you can see the color difference but I have the blues turned up a little higher on this side so that's why you got more of a blue hue to everything but uh, the polyp extension and everything seems to be okay on the pieces you see the little shimmer you get from the LEDs as I'm sure you're aware of um, but the part down here towards the bottom the sand bed you can see in between my rock structure there it's high as well so 
you know, just be cautious not to uh, <laughs> to go crazy with the percentages that you start off with if you already had some SPS in the tank. I will say that I had to move a frag rack that I had here on the edge where the starfish is because the par up there was insignificant. It's probably about 105 to 150 max. So I moved my frag rack to the halide side because on the edges I was getting around 300 over here. So that is something to be uh, wary about. You know, if you have a lot of SPS like I do, uh, obviously there's people with a lot more SPS than I have, but if you have a lot of SPS, uh, you need to be careful on how you uh, place them because the lighting is not going to penetrate too well like in this area here in this corner ish area so you got to move adjust some things same thing on the back side there but uh yeah that's pretty much it about the light picture I like it I like the remote it's pretty cool uh, no complaints as of yet but it's only been <laughs> you know a couple days here with the light on the tank so yet to see how growing and everything goes for me. You bear with me while I move the camera. I'm going to try to show you the other side here. Sorry for making you seasick. So the tank's four foot uh, long and three foot wide by two feet tall. So it's kind of like a, a square. So anyway, that just gives you an idea of the coral I have in here. I have quite a bit of SPS all over the place. Uh, not as much or big colonies as other reefers, but it's just to give you an idea. So I'm hoping these LEDs work out well. My uh, tank temperature has dropped over a degree and a half a day, but I use a big fan to cool everything, so I don't use a chiller. But uh, anyway, that's how it looks hung. I just hung it from a uh, piece of conduit. I ran over the top of my uh, canopy and uh, just hung it from the the uh, wire that it came with and the bracketry. Pretty much, pretty easy. Uh, if you're any good at DIYing, which a lot of reefers are, you'll be fine. So anyway, that's just a quick little glance at how strong the uh, par is on those LEDs and. Hope you guys appreciate the video or hope I don't sound like an idiot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.